Real Madrid stretch their unbeaten run to 42 games uh, with a victory over Celta Vigo in the Banco Valaidos Stadium. But they have to sweat for the three points. Celta Vigo hadn't won against Real Madrid in the league for 10 years. Obviously, that now stretches to 11, but they were superb on the night. And had they taken their chances, then it might have been a very different scoreline. Bamba and Borja Iglesias here linking up brilliantly. Svedberg sends his shot wide. The flag is up anyway. It might have needed to be checked, however. And Svedberg uh, missing his first opportunity, but uh, excellent from Real Madrid. Excellent from Celta Vigo, I should say, who started brilliantly in the rain. Their manager, Claudio Giraldez, uh, rewarded with a new contract this week. And so desperate to be the first manager since Luis Enrique to give Celta a win over Real Madrid in the league. Another chance for Villiers Svedberg, and this time it's Courtois who denies him. Real Madrid playing a new system, it seemed, in the first half, with uh, Xiaomani making up a, a back three with Militao and Rudiger. Frank Garcia and Lucas Vazquez playing as wing-backs. Svedberg almost had too much time there to think, and in the end... Courtois was uh, too big a presence in the Real Madrid goal, and he couldn't beat him, Courtois making the save. Down at the other end, Real Madrid were always going to have uh, their chances sooner rather than later. The first, Ferdi Valverde, pushed away by Guaita. Little flick from Lucas Vazquez playing him in. This was the uh, opening goal of the game. Against the run of play, Kylian Mbappe's sixth goal in the league, his eighth in all competitions. Fran Beltran gave the ball away, it was Camavinga intercepting it. It ran fortuitously for Real Madrid for Mbappe. Still plenty to do, but Mbappe is Mbappe and he buried it into the side of the net. So for all their good work in the first 20 minutes or so, Celta Viga found themselves behind. Continue to play their football, however. And they continue to have chances. Borja Iglesias slips this one past Courtois. The flag is up. He was uh, a good distance offside. Diago Aspas suspended for this game. Appealing high up in the stands behind, his, uh, behind the glass of his private box. That uh, This got a touch off of Chamonix before it reached Borja Iglesias. Not deemed an intentional touch. And so the goal didn't stand. It remained 1-0 to Real Madrid. Frustration for Aspas, who would have loved to have been out on the pitch. Another opportunity here. Camavinga sending this one over the top. A while well, since Camavinga scored for Madrid. And uh, he was unable to keep the shot down. March 2022, the last time he hit the back of the net in the league. Bamba involved once more. This time dispossessed by Xiaomani. Camavinga's ball forward to Vinicius. And Vinicius... Dispossessed, but the ball ran to a grey shirt. Real Madrid in their third strip for this game. And it was Vinicius in the end who headed wide. <laughs> Climbed high. Just couldn't direct the header goalwards, or couldn't direct it inside the the posts. Another opportunity for him here. 
Twisting and turning, slices his shot though with Bellingham cursing him at the back post, furious that that wasn't played across the face of the six-yard box. He made the right run, Bellingham, and had that been played in, he probably would have tapped that in, but Vinicius will say that he had every right to go for goal, just doesn't get the shot right. Images now from the second half, Bellingham spinning away from Marcus Alonso. Options on for him here, but he decides to go for goal himself. Draws uh, the ball in the end across the, drags the ball across the face of the goal. Yet to score this season, Jude Bellingham in the league. Different role for him this season, different role for him in this game. He started on the right of the front three in place of Rodrigo, who was on the bench. Mingessa swapping passes with Bamba, early cross, Svedberg, and this time he scores. So those two opportunities in the first half that he wasn't able to take, once denied by Thibaut Courtois, the other one he put wide, albeit with the flag up. But this time he made no mistake, and it's a fine move from Celta Vigo. Sotelo starts it, Bamba makes the run. Rudiger playing everyone on side, lovely pass from Bamba back to Mingessa, and it's all about the cross from Mingessa. First time into Svedberg, he doesn't need to break stride, and he hits it cleanly past Courtois. So they were right back in it, 1-1. Not only had they not beaten Madrid in 10 years in the league, you would have to go right the way back to 1968 for the last time they beat Madrid, having conceded the first goal. But there was belief inside the Balaidos. There was a let-off here, though. Flag was up against uh, Mbappe when he received the pass from Bellingham. Bellingham does very well there to win that crunching 50-50. But uh, Mbappe can't hold his run and he's offside when he plays in Vinicius. So it stayed at 1-1. Celta fans in good voice, knowing that their team will create more openings. Another opportunity here, Svedberg almost finding Borke Iglesias. Was it a pass? Was it a shot? Well, it was almost a, it was almost a superb pass. Fizzes just in front front of uh, of Borke and goes wide. Down at the other end, Bellingham trying to pick out Mbappe who went down under pressure from Manquillo. As he held back, looked that way, but the ball sailed over his head anyway. This is a key moment in the game. Kamavinga has gone off and Luka Modric has come on. Come on to make history, 39 years and 40 days, making him the oldest player ever to play for Real Madrid. Beating Puskas' record by four days, and this is the first thing he does. Slide rule pass into Vinicius, under the goalkeeper's dive, 2-1. And Vinicius, fifth league goal, but it's all about Modric and his impact on the game. And Carlo Ancelotti, a brilliant manager, a lucky one as well because of the talent he has. Courtois and Mbappe had uh, provided the magic in the first half, Modric and Vinicius in the second. So could Celta Vigo come back into the game for a second time? Well, they tried. Uh, Bamba with this shot, saved by Courtois. Problem was for Claudio Giraldez that um, Bamba, Borja and Svedberg, as brilliant as they'd been, they were running a bit low on fuel in the last uh, 15 minutes or so. They all came off. This is before Bamba's taken off. He stretches, gets ahead of Rudiger. Courtois makes the save. They all came off and Celta lost a little bit of their attacking threat once that had happened, but that was Bamba going close, unable to beat Courtois. Hugo Sotelo plays this one out to Minguesa, and in the end, the left-footed shot. And it just clipped the top of the crossbar.
showed inside onto his left foot. Not his strongest, but um, he did well with the shot. He wasn't far away. Beltran. Back out to Oscar Mingesta. Good weaving run from Mingesa, wins the corner. What a season Oscar Mingesa is having, the former Barcelona fullback. First came to prominence when uh, Ronald Koeman picked him for the Barca first team. And he's now very much a, a feature, um, a fixture, I should say, in the Celta starting 11. Shot from distance there from Alfon Gonzalez. Bappe replaced by Ceballos. And still they came forward, Celta. This is Alfon teeing up Duvicas and sliding in. He puts it wide. Alfon Gonzalez with the cross. And Duvicas with the chance to salvage a point late on. It's a great run across the face of the uh, Real Madrid defence from Alfon Gonzalez. He played on the left, but he pops up on the right, picks out Duvicas, who gets there. But guides it past the post. And so that's the way it finished. Final score, Celta Vigo 1, Real Madrid 2.